global battery metals versus American battery metals and sun hydrogen stocks update. So we will begin with uh, global battery metals. I believe it's a Canadian company and um, this it was uh, brought to attention by uh, some of the viewers on uh, our channel and um, yesterday it closed up about 101 percent and um, obviously um, there was something going on there we have not been able to find any new news I think we have to try and find out what uh, is uh, what uh, was behind that and we might be able to find one down here and um, so we're trying to compare the two of them because uh, one of the things um, they indicated was that people were moving away from American battery metals American battery metals and uh, going to um, global battery metals and um, if we're going to compare them um, we will uh, just have a look first of all global battery metals is uh, still worth 82.8 million dollars 442.9 million shares outstanding whereas uh, global american battery metals is a behemoth already um worth 1.1.9 billion dollars is a small cap of late you know um billion dollar uh, companies are regarded uh, or rather two billion dollar companies are regarded as a small comp as a, a small cap that's where we are right now and then 407 about 10 times more um uh, she has outstanding and uh, we, we also have a position in american battery metals we have to let you know that and if we are going to compare we, it's easily you know um it's it does it's no it's a no-brainer no where would you if you have to choose if you have to choose between the two of them for now um where would you be you know um i mean it's tempting to say well, easily easy that um, 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 global b uh, battery metals you know i mean it's still cheap um but um already already it is it is um half nearly half of what american battery metals is and um what does that indicate by the time it gets to four dollars we are going to be looking at um evaluation of about um um pff, roughly 170 million dollars so does that um is that the end it just simply points to the fact that it could even run way 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 beyond um, um, uh, four dollars I mean this is not um, the fact this is not what is going to happen this is not a prediction this is not even an analysis or anything like that I mean uh, we're trying to compare uh, if if global battery metals is going to reach 1.9 billion dollars and if it has 4.42.9 million dollars for sorry 42.9 million shares it just simply say means that it, the share price will you know um go increase beyond four dollars we're talking about something close to 40 dollars but at, at the same time you know this is is just a an arbitrary um, um an, an analysis it's just arbitrary but at the same time it's even though it is arbitrary but market participants are looking at exactly that and what matters is not the fundamentals what we think and all those things you know the the, the concrete thing is if people are looking at this this is the next american battery metals and they're saying okay let's push the price the, the market cap of global battery metals from 82 million dollars to 1.9 billion dollars i mean pff, would that did this how they think or anything like that i mean pff, never say never you know so but if it is this is an assumption and if this is what they're gonna do and they want to do how 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 can they get there the only one of the ways they can get there is to keep buying it until they push it up to 40 dollars 
and then when they get to $40, then we're talking about close to $1.9 billion. I mean, and at the same time, all of these comparisons are not, um, are not um, out of place. You can also see that it has already happened. This does not also mean that it will also happen with uh, global battery metals and American battery metals. Plug power um, dragged fuel cell um, up. People, you know, couldn't get into plug power because I had uh, the, the train that is plug power had already left the station. You know, the price was getting too high, and they jumped on fuel cell energy. And then fuel cell energy went from uh, probably something even lower than five dollars, and it is now at uh, twenty something dollars and, and some fraction. I think we actually made a video and we we're asking, will uh, fuel cell energy energy get to twenty dollars? It has already reached and surpassed that. So it does happen. It can happen. But you know, even though that the fact it happened, that it doesn't mean that it will happen in this case. But at the same time as well, you know. Um, on the other hand, they can still get to a market a a, a market cap of about uh, one one point nine billion dollars by probably increasing um, the number of shares, and that way, um, raising more capital, issuing more shares, and then increasing dilute the, diluting the already the shareholders who are there already, and then um, um, they can subsequently reach that. Uh, 1.9 billion dollars or billion a billion dollar valuation and also keeping the price affordable you know because if they issue more shares they're likely to dilute the uh, I mean it's a dilution and maybe the, the price might still be you know um, yeah it will be tempered if it, it will be kept um, it, it will be um, kept from um, running up too high you know um, um, but yeah uh, 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 companies uh, don't exactly um, um, like their shares to be uh, too cheap, uh, in, if, uh, as such, you know, um, because um, there, are, there are a lot of issues that can come up from their regulatory listing issues, you know, and them. Um, so these are the other ways they can do that. But assuming they're not going to do that, assuming they're not going to dilute shares, you know, and all that stuff, you know, but um, yeah, then the other way, which is, you know, for market participants to um, dive in and keep buying it but at the same time as well if they keep on buying it they will go on and raise capital that is what's going to happen so this 42.9 million dollars 42.9 million shares we're looking at right here you know it is likely going to increase because uh, if they have 82.8 million dollars they are definitely looking for money they are definitely looking for finance and it is when we of late you know it is our involvement, our interest, you know, in 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 them, in you know, in global battery metals, and indeed ABML and uh, you know other stocks, including Sun Hydrogen. We're going to cover in a, in a few uh, minutes now. And by the time we do that, we help them improve their financial um, ability, their fundraising ability, which is very, very, very concrete. You know, so there's a good chance that um, you know, in as much as um, we think. Um, or rather, is in as much as I've indicated that um, you know, um, one way they can do that is for market participants to keep on buying to push it up, or they, when they are looking at the, you know the the uh, market the, the 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 market cap of the two of, the, of these two stocks, and um, so um, the more we get involved, the more the likelihood of uh, global battery metal executives going out there to uh, raise more capital than probably. Um, um, dilute um, the shares, you know. So it's not a bad thing, all as such. You know, we all stand the chance of uh, benefiting from it. So uh, easily, I would say. Don't um, I would say, in my own opinion, buy the two of them. Not don't um, sell completely from American battery metals and uh, jump into uh, global battery metals. If you have the resources, you know, get on the two of them. If it means you're going to sell off a bit of American battery battery metals, you know, and then get on uh, get on, get some of some of the some of global battery metals. So this also brings uh, 
back to the point of uh, always trying to leave some money, some cash available for eventualities. They always arise. They always arise. They always come up. You know, uh, but it's not. It's not as simple as that. It's not. I mean, cash and cash is uh, cash is is a limited resource. You can never have enough. You know, by the time you um, take a position in one thing or the other, you're already tired. You can never have. Um, you can never have a spare left. You can never, never always. If you have it now, you may not have it again later on. Okay, so um, this is just to compare the two of them. You know, but. Um, um, All in all, it's uh, run up a huge gain. You can see the, it, we covered uh, uh, we, co we covered global battery metals um, in our last video there about. So um, it is also trading so far away from its um, um, short-term trend lines, but uh, it still makes sense. You know, the temptation to um, uh, get in on it is uh, very high. So I wouldn't um, dissuade you from getting getting in, but if you have to go in, get in. Don't um, you know? Stake your um, your savings in it. Just a small amount of money, and you see how it goes. And that is also the case with uh, ABML. You know, it's uh, gradually increasing in price now as well. So you have to, uh, um, if you can't afford to buy it at uh, this current price, you can also do so. Um, so let's uh, have a look at um, Sun Hydrogen. This, this might take some time. Okay, so we, we have um, a position in uh, Sun Hydrogen as well. Sun Hydrogen closed up, um, I believe, about nearly 10%. And um, the good thing about it is that um, it is um, um, it is trying to uh, Retrace that. Uh, we're just trying to um, challenge uh, that all-time high of thirty cents. So it's currently at uh, twenty, roughly twenty-four cents. And um, if we can try and see if we can do a, uh, if we can do an extension um, level. Uh, projection I think we can choose um, let's see if we can choose uh, 23 cents and then uh, this 20 cents or thereabout and then 24 cents so I think we have done that in the past we still had um, we had a price uh, an extension level of 29 cents I think we can still maintain that 29 cents for an extension level for that's the next extension extension level from this from the current uh, 24 cent it is now which is roughly that um, that um, all-time high as well um roughly roughly there and then a hundred percent extension level which is the next one after the after the um 61.8 extension level we'll put it at uh, probably roughly 32 cents I, th I think you know um, that analysis or uh, projection we uh, had some days ago is still intact because um, even though it's uh, closed up 10% um, in the last session of the 8th of uh, February, it still hasn't um, reached that um, extension level. So we will still maintain that. So if you are uh, new to this channel subscribe like and share if you're really a subscriber thank you very much for pushing the subscriber count um, beyond uh, 1000 and um, uh, let's keep subscribing in the last uh, week we had about uh, uh, 9000 unique uh, viewers of our videos so um, if all of you signed up if all of you uh, subscribe we will definitely have a subscriber on subscriber count that is way beyond uh, 10,000 so thank you very much for watching this video and supporting this channel. Thank you very much.